Stories like that are a good reminder to check your home for water leaks, but some leaks are hard to find. Better Call Harry shows you how to find and fix most leaks on your own. Seemingly minor leaks in and around your home can really add up. But before you start investigating, Consumer Reports says, first, check your water meter. It'll have a numerical reading on the top. Check that, then come back in about two hours. During that time, make sure nobody in the house actually uses any water. And when you go and see it again, if the number has gone up, it means you've got a leak somewhere in the house. Most leaks are often easy and inexpensive to fix. The tricky part can be finding them. We're going to start in the bathroom because it accounts for more than half of all the water used in your home. The first fixture to check out is the toilet. To check for leaks you might not see, add a drop of food coloring to the tank. Wait 15 minutes. If food coloring ends up in the toilet bowl, you have a leak and you'll need to replace the flapper on the valve seal. Consider replacing toilets older than 25 years. The newer models CR has looked at use as little as 1.28 gallons per flush. For a leaky shower head, use pipe tape or Teflon tape to secure a tight connection between the shower head and the pipe. Check any faucets too. You can usually just replace the washer or gasket. You don't have to get rid of the entire thing. You also want to make sure to look under the vanity for any leaks that you may not see. Check your kitchen faucet too. And finally, be on the lookout for leaks behind your walls. Mold or moisture on your walls, ceilings, or floors may indicate a leaking pipe, in which case, it is best to call a plumber. And don't forget to check for leaks outside of your home. Remember, if there is a leak at the meter, it's the county or the city's responsibility. But once it's on private property, it's your responsibility to make the repair. I'm Better Call Harry with your Consumer Reports.